Hello everyone, today we're going to see flat shading, smooth shading, auto smooth and sharp edges with Blender. So let's get started. Subscribe now. Here I have two spheres. In the left uh, we have the flat shading. You can see each polygon independently. And in the right I have the, the same sphere but with a smooth shading. This sphere has this, the exactly same amount of polygons than the left sphere, as you can see. They have the same amount of geometry. Which is the difference? The difference is this has flat shading and this has a, a smooth shading. How you can change this? Just select the object that you want, right click, and here you can select Shade smooth or shade flat. If I if I select shade smooth, you're going to see like that, and if I select shade flat, you will see it like this. Um, take into account that I am in object mode. If you are in edit mode, edit mode. If you want to change the the shading from flat. Uh, to smooth or vice versa, you need to activate the face selection mode. Select wherever you want to change the shading, for instance, a part of the sphere. And now right click and select shade smooth or shade flat. Okay, shade smooth or shade flat. And now you can set up a part with, uh, with, a, with a smooth shade and the other part with flat shade. So, what would happen if I do the same with a cylinder? If I ha here have a cylinder with flat uh, shading, uh, always when you create a new object in Blender, the shading will be set up as flat. So, I'm in object mode, right click, I select shade smooth and when I do that everything is shade everything is, um, is a, a, has a smooth shading in this case probably this is not what you're looking for so here is when we can use the out the auto smooth in the object data properties object data properties here I have a section that that uh, his, the name of the section is normals. If I click in the in the arrow, it will open the section. And here I have two options: the auto smooth and a certain amount of degrees. If you turn on the auto smooth, automatically it will uh, solve this this issue. So how how we can understand what is Blender doing with this uh, with these options. If I select one edge, you will be notice that this edge is shared but by this polygon and this polygon. And the angle between this polygon when when the angle between this polygon is lower than 45 degrees in this case, it will smooth the faces. If the angle between these two faces is, uh, is, is higher than 45 degrees, it will make a distinction between the two faces. I'm going to show you so you can understand like this. Here, the angle between these two faces is higher than 45 degrees, so it a blender leaves a, a hard edge here. In general, for most of the objects, if you set this to shade smooth and, and, and turn on the auto smooth with 40 degrees or 30 degrees or 45 degrees or maybe 60 degrees is enough for most cases. Uh, it will resolve the shading 
the, shape, the, the smooth and the, and the hard edges automatically with no issues. But there are some situations, more, more complex situations. Here I have the a gun with this uh, object that I have um, duplicated. Here I have three different ways of, of shading the faces. The first one has the flat shading, so you can see each polygon individually. The problem with this is here I, here I want to um, a smooth shading. Okay, so the flat shading it won't be useful in this case. In this second example, I have set the shading as smooth. So, and and I turn on the auto smooth. This is the smooth, the normal smoothing. When I activate the auto smooth, this is the result. So, it's uh, smoothing some polygons and is setting some edges as sharp automatically. Why? Because the angle between this face and the other faces is greater than 45 degrees. But there is some issues in some areas. If you compare this model with this model, this is a, this has a, more, a better shading and this is this has a shading issues here here you can see like a like a shadow here so how we can fix this with the sharp edges so I'm going to show you how the sharp edges works I'm going to edit mode so the hard edges um, this blue light blue lines are the hard or the sharp edges. Why we use the sharp edges? Because you can set up the, the entire model as a, with an auto smooth, so more or less everything is is smooth, but if you, if you want to uh, rescue some sharp edges, you can select them and mark and mark them as sharp. You can select the edges, right click and select mark sharp. This way it will preserve the, the hard edge, the hard edge or the sharp edge. If I make it here so you can see the difference, I want to edit more, I want to select all this edge, all this uh, edge loop. As an example, right click, mark sharp, and now all these uh, shading problems are solved. If you want to fix this shading problem, here we go to edit mode, edit mode. we select uh, all this set of edges. I think all these are sharp. And now it's fixed. I think this also had to be sharp, much sharp, and this way you can define the uh, the shape with the same amount of polygons so that was how to use the the flat shading the smooth shading auto smooth uh, and sharp edges i hope this could be useful and see you on the next video for those who are still there i would like to show you the following if you need if you need to activate or deactivate the display of the sharp edges you can go in edit mode with edit mode activated go to the 
overlays options and here you can activate or, deact or deactivate uh, the display of the sharp edges or the creases when you're working with solution surface or the bevel when you're using the bevel modifier or the seams when you're using um, when you're unwrapping the model um, and the second thing um, that I wanted to to tell you is is very important when you are doing um, 3D assets for games that the sharp edges must be the same than the seams. That was all and see you next time.